morning! Welcome back to our channel! Good morning, beautiful! Good morning! Look at this beautiful bathroom that my wife designed oh my single handedly. I really did. What? I finally posted the reveal! I know! Oh, yeah, so I guess we can show it in here now. Every time I've tried to show it, Abby says I can't because she hasn't posted the reveal yet, but now it's posted. <laughs> Harbor's starting the day with getting his elf. Mr. Elf, as he likes to call him. Mr. Elf. Let's see him. Oh my goodness. He went up high. He went up high? Was he rock climbing? No. No? What was he, was he doing? Climbing. Say welcome back to our channel. Welcome to Say subscribe. Bye. <laughs> we set up our Christmas decorations yesterday. Well, most of them. We still have to decorate the tree in the living room. We set up everything in the front room yesterday. I know it's really, really early, but we didn't decorate for Halloween because we just were not feeling it. And it just seemed like a lot of work. So we didn't decorate for Halloween, right? Okay. So we decorated for Christmas early. Uh, okay. Do you want to show them? Oh, so big. It's so, it's so big. big. You want to show them the piano? We got our mistletoe up as well. We still haven't added the trim to this door. I'm sorry, it's so dark. I feel like there's a switch. There's a switch, right? There's a switch in there somewhere. There it is. I added this little mirror in here by the mud bench area so that you can check yourself out before you leave. And this is the paint color that we've decided for the mud room and living room area. And I also added this plant, which <laughs> came in a pot. And I had Julia saw off the bottoms because it literally didn't fit in this pot and I really wanted to use this pot. So I bought that like, um, I don't know what it's called. Do you know what that's called? That foam stuff that people use for crafts? No, it's like a foam. Yeah. It like, yeah, it like, it I'm gonna put it in here. That way I can have the tree stand a little bit taller because the tree came a little bit taller when I bought it. But anyway, this is what the mirror looks like. This is the fit. Messy bun today because it's a lazy day because it's rainy. I don't know how to style this area. I got this pillow. I thought it'd be kind of cute in the corner like that. I don't know. And then I have this little plant that I put here, but I don't really, I feel like it's kind of a weird place to put a plant. But anyway, I feel like it's cute because I feel like when I leave the house, I can't like check myself out, you know, and I'm obsessed with myself and I'm just conceited. So I need to check myself out. Doing home projects has been the number one way that I've been like staying sane these past few weeks. I've just been loving doing the things that I've been thinking about doing to the house that I haven't had time or just like haven't had the energy to do them. I need to pick up paint, which maybe I'll do that later today because I do need to swatch the paint that we have a color match for and make sure that it works because we did buy the wrong paint a couple days ago. What? Your necklace is on backwards. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm like, why are you looking um, at me? Um. Julia's like sitting behind the camera like, do I have a booger on my face no, or something? It's fine. It's just funny because I'm pretty sure that you do this every time you put this on because you do it in the mirror. So you're like, oh, that looks right. Well, and for some reason my brain tells me that mama is spelled the same way as it is frontwards, backwards. I can't even get it off. It's okay. Who cares? Just leave it. I'm an ama. You're an ama. Ama. It's French. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll fix it in a little bit. But I did want to give a huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I need to let my therapist know that I can't even spell anymore. You guys know I am huge on mental health. I talk about it literally all the time, especially just what I've been going through the past few weeks with grieving and things that I have dealt with even before I started YouTube. I've been in therapy for so long now and it's been the number one thing that's really helped me be a better mom, be a better person, be a better wife. BetterHelp will match you with a therapist who is trained to be helpful and give you unbiased advice. Starting therapy can be really hard, not only starting therapy, but just finding the right therapist for you. And that's the great thing about BetterHelp is you can switch at literally any time. You don't have to stress about insurance, who's in your network. If you're more comfortable doing virtual therapy or there's someone in your area that doesn't really have the expertise you're looking for, better help, I can promise you will have someone that you're looking for. You can do sessions through video chat, phone call, messaging, whatever works for you and your schedule. They have over 30,000 therapists in their network, which means that they're going to have so many different expertises. It's really quick and easy to get signed up. All you do is fill out a quick questionnaire and they will match you with a therapist in most cases in 48 hours. From there, all you do is schedule your therapy session in the time that works for you. So like if you spend hours in the gym every week, you might as well be doing that for your mind as well, since our mind really is kind of like a 
muscle. There's over 4 million people that have been using BetterHelp. To start living a happier, healthy life, don't forget to click the link in our description or visit betterhelp.com slash AJ, that's better H-E-L-P. And if you do that, you will get 10% off your first month using BetterHelp. And you're also supporting our channel, which means so much to us. All right, should I change this now? Uh, can you help me? Yes. I can't get it off. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with you? You're kinda cute. Oh, thanks baby. <laughs> do I smell like onions today? No. Julia told me that I made a recipe, or did you make it? I don't know, we had a recipe that had a lot of onions in it. She said her hands smell like onions. I was trying to stay away from her for the, um, <laughs> that day because I didn't want you to be like, you smell like onions. <laughs> I just really still have a problem with smelling things so strong. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Sometimes I think that maybe you got COVID because I've heard people say that they get like really sensitive to smell. I think it was pregnancy. Yeah, could be, yeah. All right, better? Well, thank you. Thank you for getting me this wonderful necklace. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Abby and I are really tired today because last night, well, first of all, daylight savings time really is not fun when you have a toddler. Yeah. And maybe we're just like bad at like preparing for it because I've heard other people say like put your kid to bed early, like prepare them for the time change. We don't like to do that kind of thing. Anyway, so it's just miserable in the time being because Harbor wakes up at like 4 a.m. But then also, in the middle of the night, well, again, backtracking, ever since Abby's mom died, she, I don't know why, <laughs> but she has to watch Shark Tank, like, to fall asleep. Like, all night. But, like, all night. She'll wake up in the night, like, three times and tell me to turn Shark Tank back on. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm just used to it by now, so I'm like sleep, asleep, like turning it back on every night constantly. She loves Shark Tank. It's the only thing that makes her it's feel not even better. Like I love Shark Tank. It just I don't know something about something it. about Mark funny. Cuban. Yeah. Oh my gosh. In the middle of the night, Abby and I both jolted awake because we heard someone's voice. It sounded like coming from like the living room, but like saying something in, in this really loud, echoey kind of like sounded like something something coming from like, like record a player or something. Speaker or something. I don't know. And we were we literally sat straight up like <gasps> yeah, and we were like, what was that? And Abby thought it was a go the ghost of her mother. <laughs> well, okay, I had, no, I had a dream. I was having nightmares all night. So then this was just the cherry on top. <sighs> I've actually been paranoid about the ghost of her mother coming to visit us ever since her mom died. Because I don't want to roll over and she's like... Yeah, it's been a whole thing. <laughs> and, and that's actually delving into some more serious <laughs> territory. Yeah, it's it's not actually as funny because it's... Ooh. Anyway, I thought that somehow the TV like switched into the Bluetooth. I thought somehow it started playing in here, which would make no sense because it's never like hooked up to anything besides our phones. And it's not even plugged in, I don't think, right now. But that's what it sounded like. So we were freaking out. I was up like walking around the house making sure the electronics were turned off. I was checking on Harbor. He was just laying in bed like his uh, baby didn't really catch anything. Di distinctly like a, uh, like a woman's female voice. voice. It ended up just being something that was on Shark Tank. I pulled up the YouTube video of the episode and we have to listen to it because I want you guys to know what it felt like to be dead asleep and then like hear this. Love you. Bye. I, it sounds echoey. something about that, like really the, her voice was like thrown. It sounded yeah. like it came from the other room. Our TV was on like level six too, so it wasn't like loud. We really anything. turn it down in the night. Yeah, it's a lot of weird. Yeah. So maybe we should stop watching so much Shark Tank in the morning. No, I can't sleep without Shark Tank. I've tried other things and I can't sleep without it. I guess that's the least of our concerns right now, yeah. to be honest with you. Listen, okay, I didn't also think it was a ghost. I also thought that like a woman broke in and was like yelling. It was either a ghost or house. a woman broke into our but house was and confused. was saying I love you in the other room. Well, yeah, that's what was weird. I was like, mom! Because <laughs> I was having nightmares about my mom all night. And then I was like, and then I was like, well, it couldn't be someone broke in because then our security alarm would have gone off. Yeah. So then my next thing that I was freaked out about was like, you know, you see those videos of people hacking yes. into baby monitors. I thought it was something like that. And I was like, that is like so scary. I was thinking that too, because it sounded like it came from a different speaker. Anyway, I don't think people actually care about our nightmares. Oh. <laughs> Julia says she wants Starbucks, so I'm gonna go grab her one. I'll never waste an excuse to go for a rainy drive. I got the whole gang now. 
and did it. It's freezing. Harper's obsessed with the movie Coraline lately. I don't We've know if you've watched, watched it before. Probably watched ten it times nonstop. And I keep, we keep having to tell him, listen, like it's the fall vibes are kind of over right now. We're trying to lean into the Christmas vibes. He's not picking it up right now. One of his favorite toys at the moment is a skeleton hand because it reminds him of the hand from Coraline. And he's playing with that in the back seat as we speak. Wait, I thought I put that in the T-H-R-O-W. Wait, T-H-R <laughs> in the throw? T H A S H. T H T R A S H. You were gonna give me an aneurysm. What did you just say? T R A S H B I N. Why did you say? I, okay, I'm driving, okay? Well, anyway, there was two. Okay, so you may have right. thrown one in the throw. Oh, I did. But <laughs> the other one's right the there. <laughs> hot they make drinks too hot if you ask me every time i get a drink i have to let it sit for like 15 minutes before it's drinkable it's why do they make it so hot i would rather it be cold if i'm being perfectly honest than this hot it's just pointless i got harbor some steamed apple cider he hasn't quite learned the art of drinking out of starbucks cups so we're just gonna pour it into one of his drinks yeah. all right here's some apple soda let me make sure it's not too hot that's fine how come they made yours a good temperature? Do you want to pink lollipop too? Or do you want to eat it later? Know. You're welcome. <clears throat> All right, I think that's it for today's video. Do you have anything else that you want to say today? No. Thanks for watching. Bye.